Intention beads, believe and achieve. Link in the description below. Hello, fabulous superstar Sagittarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of August, 2020. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month. It will be right around the third of the month that we are going to have a full moon. Now this full moon is part of a larger configuration that astrologers call a T-square. And it is one of tension. It is motivation, but there's also frustration with this. The planet involved in this larger configuration is Uranus, planet of surprise, of the unexpected showing up. Now for you, this full moon is taking place in a part of the sky that has to do with communication and conversation. It has to do with online connections as well, contracts, negotiations, siblings, cousins, and neighbors are covered here also. And so it may very well be one of these people who has some very surprising news or developments taking place in their life that may uh, take you a moment at the very least to adjust to the information or the changes that are transpiring. Now this could also be a sense of uh, unpredictability or even a chaotic energy surrounding in your neighborhood. This energy may also speak to unexpected reactions, perhaps over the top reactions to something that you share, whether it is spontaneously one on one and also where it is that you're sharing on social media, for example, you just want to be mindful. You want to be a little bit cautious with this because it does suggest that without intending to, you may provoke particular reactions in others. So where possible, uh, hold back a little bit, especially where it comes to talking about things that feel kind of personal, because this is an energy of awareness after all. And so something that you may share without necessarily thinking it's going to mean anything could actually end up reaching a whole lot of people. This is like going viral for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> That's what can happen here. And so just be mindful. And again, if it is that you are somebody who uh, engages other people as you move through the world online or in person, um, just to have and to cultivate some awareness around that would probably be a good idea. I would also say if you have important documents to sign, uh, conversations to have, negotiations to have, try not to do it in the days too close to the full moon, just because there is such a wild energy here, a wild card energy here, where it could end up going in all kinds of directions and creating a moment that can feel frustrating for you. But for all that, the remarkable thing is that the energy does shift and the energy changes in ways that I think you will love. In fact, of all the signs out there, we have this fortunate new moon happening mid month that I think you will absolutely love. Now this new moon is happening in fellow fire sign Leo. It is taking place right around the 19th of the month and it is happening in a particularly worldly part of the sky for you. Everything from long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters, political matters are covered here. Now you may already be aware we are in the midst of a Mars retrograde season. Mars isn't retrograde yet. That'll happen next month, but this is the path that Mars will regress and return and retrograde over once we get into next month or beginning next month. For now though, this is what we call Mars traveling in shadow. And so this is the pathway forward, eventually retro, and then for a third and final time forward again. So this is where Mars begins to have some of the tougher alliances, tougher conversations. And what this suggests is that as Mars is traveling this month, the energy can feel tense for a lot of us out there. It can feel like we are wanting to take action. We're motivated to take action, certainly, but there's also some sense of frustration that is part of what is motivating us to take action, the desire to resolve it in some way. But then you get these moments uh, of respite, of clarity, these moments where the work and the action and the energy pay off. That's what this new moon represents. This new moon is happening hand in hand with Mercury. So the ideas are there, the brilliance is there, but it is also speaking 
in supreme harmony with Mars. I love that Mars connection that is playing out here because it does suggest that sense of reward. Now where this new moon is taking place, it is a part of the sky that your sign has a natural correspondence to. So it makes it that much more an important area for you. Whether it is that you were hoping for brand new horizons, literally or figuratively or philosophically, this is where the universe is gonna help you out in that regard. And the new possibilities that do show up seem to be especially exciting. Now, it may be that new opportunity comes to in some way share what you do on a bigger scale or on a bigger stage than you have known before. And that will very well be because of the action that you have taken, bringing about some sense of resolution to the way in which Mars is propelling you towards action now. Now, where it comes to Mars retrograde season, there is a special horoscope about that, and I will link to it in the description below. But I do think that this new moon as a standalone speaks to a sense of the world opening up to you in a way deeply meaningful and truly an energy that feels exciting to you. Where it comes to matters of love, you have had Venus moving through your opposite sign for an unusually long time. In the first days of April is when Venus moved in for a nice long stay thanks to the Venus retrograde season that is now over as you begin this month. And so Venus is gonna remain in your opposite sign for the first eight days of this month. And what that suggests is that you will continue to reap blessings in this area. Whereas there were certainly moments as part of the Venus retrograde season where the energy was challenging or uh, confusing or even disappointing, it is now as Venus is moving through fresh territory that it will feel as if you're able to bring forward the best that this blessing can offer. Once we get past the eighth, Venus will change signs and move into a part of the sky for you that has to do with profound and meaningful connection. It has to do with authentic interactions and a sense of truly wanting something that is real. For those of you who are open to meeting someone new, the first eight days of the month have this beautiful energy to them that do suggest you may connect with someone who has real long-term potential to them. It is once we navigate past the eighth that the energy transforms. And if it is that you are connecting with new people, the desire for something truly real that you can feel deep within is going to be dominant. And if you don't feel it, it just isn't going to be something viable for you. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I do love the energy in the first eight days of the month. It does suggest you're enjoying this person's company that much easier envisioning what could be possible for the two of you. Now, once it is that we move past the eighth though, this is about learning more deeply about this person, becoming uh, more honest with each other, more vulnerable with each other. This energy can suggest an increase in intimacy as well. Now, ultimately it is going to be this move of Venus that will take you on a journey to decide whether or not what is here is something that you feel is real. And for those of you who are in an established bond, now the energy in the first part of the week is lovely. It is one of feeling as if your partner is that much sweeter towards you. Once we navigate past the eighth, the energy of Venus does suggest that a boost to your partner's income can uh, show up, can transpire, and that in some way can bring greater blessings to your life. But this energy is also very lovely for feeling more close and more connected, for feeling as if you're learning more about each other more deeply and solidifying the intensity of the bond. What I love about this month for you, well, it is that new moon that's taking place right around the 19th of the month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. This energy is one of expansion of enthusiasm. It is an energy that invites you to expand your horizons, literally and figuratively as well, where it is that you're ready to dream bigger and start putting things into place to manifest bigger in the fullness of time. Well, this new moon will ensure that you have 
the energy and the enthusiasm to make it so. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.